is going to be a general love reading for the sign of Capricorn. Sorry about that, Capricorn. I still had a card up there from Sagittarius' reading. All right, so this is a general love reading for the sign of Capricorn. Um, it is not a twin flame reading. However, if twin flame cards come out, I will definitely let you know. Um, that being said, this is a timeless read. So whenever you find this reading Capricorn, it's for you, my beautiful Cappies. Um, I guess, yes, um, it, though it is timeless, um, I was going to say we're just going to dive right in, but I, I wanted to make it clear that though it is timeless, we are going to be focusing on the energy of September. So let's go ahead and dive right in. I'm starting with my mermaid tarot i'm gonna go ahead and clear the space with my bell to cleanse energy and then we'll be right back all right we're reading now for capricorn for the month of september what does capricorn need to know about their love life for the month of september please capricorn for september capricorn for september thank you for allowing me to the clear channel for source messages <clears throat> capricorn for september please Capricorn for September. So I'm shuffling kind of slow because I did cut my finger right before we started filming. And it hurts. And I don't like band-aids, so I didn't put anything on it. And so been kind of just lumping it. And I noticed I was getting blood on my cards, which was not fun, but... It is what it is, I suppose. All right, Capricorn. Wow, this energy feels really stuck for all the signs lately. Four of Wands, stability. Should I take that? It kind of fell out. I don't know. Knight of Cups, proposals. Wow. Okay, so we have stability, and then we have Knight of Cups. That's a hell of a way to start this reading now, huh? Okay, tell me more about this Knight of Cups, please. This one flipped. Didn't come out, but we're taking it. Seven of Pentacles, potential. So, I don't know what's going on in your love breath right now. But you do have a love offer coming in. And right after... Okay, so the first card I pulled was Four of Wands, which is like the energy of creating stability for yourself, okay? Okay. So by creating stability, this is like focusing on yourself, um, creating financial stability for yourself. Um, for some of you, it'll be like purchasing a house, purchasing a car, um, purchasing something which will give you assets and create some sort of financial stability in your life. Okay. And then after that, we have the Knight of Cups, which is a proposal of love. Then we have Seven of Wands, which is this energy of like um, seeds that were planted in the past coming right now to, you know, nip you in the butt, whether that's good or bad, right? And it says potential. So this love offer, it has potential for beautiful growth, okay, for both of you. Five of Swords conflict. But there's something about it that is not sitting well with either you or this person. I don't know what it is. We'll see if we can dive deeper into that. All right. Tell us about this Five of Swords. Whoa, that one flew the fuck out. Nine of Wands defense. Weird. So one or both of you the reason, okay, so I asked why we had this Five of Swords, which is the conflict. Nine of Wands came out, which is this energy of, like, someone feeling defensive. I call it the Wounded Warrior card. Oh, my gosh, my kids are so loud. I'm so sorry. I call it the Wounded Warrior card because it's, like, the card of, like, someone feeling like they need to protect their heart, protect their energy, so this is someone's energy. I don't know if it's yours, Capricorn, or if it's your person's right now. But it doesn't make sense that if someone's offering you an offer of love, that they would be on the defense. 
So it makes more sense, right, that this would be your energy. Like you're feeling conflicted and you're feeling like you need to protect your heart. I don't know why this is, right? Because you do have a love offer coming in. Not sure. Okay, let's pull some more cards. Because I hardly believe that someone would come in with a love offer if they felt defensive, right? Wow, we got another nine. Nine of swords. Anxiety. So yeah, there's some kind of... I don't know why this connection would be causing you so much anxiety, but it is. I don't know if it's because it doesn't feel right or because the timing feels off for you or maybe you're just worried that, you know, somehow someone's going to sabotage it. We have healing. Ouch. Oh, gosh. Okay, I want to get a few more cards out before I start talking again. What else do you need to know for Capricorn, please? I'm definitely not ending like this because I have Capricorn friends and I need to give them some answers. Motivation. Okay, hold on. Oh my God. I cannot do this today. Well, that one flew out. Okay, so we have healing. We have three of wands, motivation, and transformation, which is death. So we have the energy of temperance, the angel of the ocean, which is temperance, and death, transformation. Three of swords is connecting this energy. So... Capricorn, if you feel like you're on this healing journey and you need to be on this healing journey alone for the time being so that you can have the greatest type of transformation, right? I see that you're very focused on yourself right now with the motivation card, the three of wands, um, I see that you're focused on your healing journey. You're focused on, you know, the changes that are happening in your life right now. But Spirit is asking you to collab with something. They're asking you to collab with this person. This person that's offering you a love offer. The Three of Wands is literally the energy of collaboration. It's like waiting for... It's the energy of waiting for something, right? But it's also the energy of working with others. So if you're waiting for an offer to come in and it does come in and then you're sitting in this energy of, I'm worried about this. I'm not sure this is the right decision. Um, this worries me. I just, I don't want... I love you, Capricorn. And I really think that it's okay for you to be still healing and to be able to still give in to love. I feel like there's this energy here of like, if I'm healing, should I still allow myself to be loved by someone? Because it's almost like there's this fear of like, if you give in to you know, um, love that you're not going to be able to focus on your healing journey. And it's going to make you doubt, like, am I really healed? Or, you know, do am I, is it the right time for me to love? You know what I mean? And the answer is yes. You can still be healing and still allow yourself to be loved. Does that make sense? Wow, we have a tower. So we have death and then we have a tower. So we have transformation and destruction. So there is this heavy energy of something. Changing for you in a huge way, right? Um, 
the tower is about something happening quickly, fast. What's the final outcome? What's the final outcome for Capricorn? What's the final outcome for Capricorn with this connection for September? Ooh, that card flew out. Seven of Wands, Endurance. So whatever it is that happens, it's going to make you a lot stronger than you thought you were, okay? You're going to realize you have more resources than you thought you did. You have more strength than you are aware of. I want you to be careful, Capricorn, also of being defensive of things. Um, we have two cards of being defensive. We have seven of wands and we have nine of wands. So be careful of being in this energy of, of protecting and defending yourself when you don't really need to, if that makes sense. Okay. It's beautiful to protect your energy, of course. And if you feel like you need to, by all means, yes, don't allow yourself to be unprotected when you feel like you definitely need to protect your energy from negative forces. But be aware of when you're doing that because you're afraid of love or falling in love or being hurt. Does that make sense? Okay. And look, on the bottom of the deck, I just felt guided to show you it's King of Cups understanding. So we go from Knight of Cups, which is this energy of a younger, um, maybe not so mature offer of love to the full blown King of Cups. This is like the ideal mate card. Oh my gosh. And look at the lovers is the next card. <clears throat> so you're going to have to make a choice, Capricorn, um, when th this these love offers come in are you going to make the choice to go towards love are you going to make the choice to go towards fear i understand that you're doing all of these beautiful things to create stability for yourself and sometimes we have to do things which make us uncomfortable in regards to our love life and get out of our comfort zone right i i understand the energy because the only reason i'm saying that is because i definitely have this fear because I've been single for so long. I've been single for three years by choice. Um, not because I don't have options, believe me. Um, I just haven't found anyone that has, you know, I felt was worthy of my time. And my biggest fear is that when I do find someone that I'm not going to remember what it's like to let someone into my life because I'm so independent and I'm so busy and I'm so used to doing my own thing. Like I always question like, how am I going to fit another person into my life? You know, and how am I going to make time for love? So I understand that like when you're so busy focusing on your own dreams, you're almost afraid that if you let someone in that you're going to become like, I don't know, I guess not as independent that makes sense so I completely understand that energy as well because I feel it all the time myself all right so let's throw some romance angels card on here for Capricorn um, I want you to do something for me a little bit too Capricorn I want you to try to get outside or do some energy cleansing because the cards feel a little stuck. Your energy feels a little bit stuck. All right. So it says, let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others. So you don't have to do everything by yourself. Um, we are all one and we're all a part of this community together. And, you know, when we all, when one wins, we all win. So if there's something in regards to your love life that you need help with, Capricorn, by all means, reach out to those who love you. Whoa, two cards flew out. We have flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others and romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So see, someone definitely has their eye on you, Capricorn. 
Um, it could be multiple people. All right. Whoever it is, this person comes in first with this very lighthearted knight type energy, which is like a younger, kind of frivolous, almost flighty type energy. Um, and then they mature into like the full grown feelings, feelings. I mean, this is someone that is kind of lukewarm at best. Sorry. First about you, but then once they're once they spend time with you, it turns into like full blown emotions and feelings for you, right? You know, so it's possible that you guys have been flirting for a while, um, back and forth, and they've de developed some romantic feelings. But it literally says your romance angels are saying your feelings are real and they're worth exploring. So don't shut down this energy quite yet. If there's someone that you're you're chatting with and you're maybe up in the air about it and you're like, I'm not quite sure, um, give it a shot. Give it a shot. And, you know, because the romance angels are saying that there's something there, right? And then you have this card in the bottom of the deck. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. So it's definitely worth um, exploring. And instead of letting all this anxiety and stuff worry you just have fun with your love life flirt have fun you don't have to take everything so serious right if you look here on this one let your friends help you there's an angel there with a crystal ball so maybe if you know someone that does like scrying like you know um that's where people will look into crystal balls or they some people do water scrying maybe have them look into your love life for you Okay, Capricorn, so let's move on to your spirit message. Guys, I'm working. Can you be a little bit quiet, please? Go back out in the living room, please. All right, let's go on to your spirit message, Capricorn. All right, so we have number 23, the present. I fully experience every moment of my life by living in the present. So Spirit is asking you to focus on now. Let all this anxiety and this like feeling like you have to protect your energy and yourself. And just focus on the now. Focus on what's happening right now in front of you. Allow that lighthearted, beautiful Capricorn energy to flow. It's also three and two is number five. So you're going through a lot of changes right now, Capricorn. I know change is hard for all of us. Try to find the peace and the stillness within you during this time of upheaval, okay? We have solar plexus chakra. Look at that beautiful, beautiful yellow color. It's number 13. I take actions daily that awaken my personal power. Wow. Wow. So you're stepping into your personal power, Capricorn. I love that for you. It's beautiful. Um, so the sacral, or the, I'm sorry, the sacral. Why did I say sacral? I don't know. Maybe you're doing sacral chakra work too. Your solar plexus is where the will comes from. It's, it's one of the main things that we use to manifest because it's I will, I will, right? It's our will, which is our stomach right here. It starts just at the navel. And so you're literally willing your power into your body. I keep seeing like a, a battery, like an energy, um, like an ener a battery being energized, like charged, you know, like when it goes, it shows up green, right? So that's your energy. And that's number four, 13 and Three and one added up, it's four. So you, ha you have heavy angel guidance around you at all times, Capricorn. Number four is my angel number, right? You also have two threes, which show me that you have ascended master energy inside of you. You are a teacher, an ascended master teacher. Number 29, we have balance. I understand and embrace the opposing forces in life that bring about balance. So that's the second card, did, right, that we got about balance. Didn't we have the angel of the ocean? The angel of the ocean is temperance. It's about patience and balance. 
And it's also number 11, which is the twin flame number. 11 is the number of twin flames. <sighs> wow. So this lesson of integrating your light and your dark is helping you to get into union faster with your twin flame. It's very possible that this person that is causing you so much anxiety is your twin flame. And it would make sense because our twin flames trigger us into the deepest parts of our healing. They will trigger all of the things inside us that create the greatest gift of healing, right? They are our mirrors. And look, it's the yin yang symbol behind her. The divine masculine and the divine feminine energies combined. crazy okay um we are going to get into your career section um for this reading and then we will end with um a spirit guide message from the spirit guide that is guiding you towards your union okay continue to do the healing work i think you're um, doing a lot better than you think you're doing, Capricorn. I think that, um, I think you're so focused on healing that you're afraid letting someone else in is going to mess up that healing journey and that sort of namaste, um, energy that you have. Like, have you ever seen the movie Eat, Love, Pray? Where, um, Julia Roberts, she becomes this beautiful balanced soul she meditates and before she's you know she's in this unhappy marriage and then she leaves it and she goes to bali and she tries to find herself she goes to italy and she gets into meditation and spirituality and during this journey to find herself she meets someone and falls deeply in love with him and you know he asks her to come away with him and she is terribly afraid when he asks her that because she's like I don't know how to keep myself balanced when I'm when I love you like she's like what if I all this balance that I've I've worked to create in myself what if I just lose it because you know I I lose myself in you because she was the type of woman that she would lose herself in her partner's and she's, she was afraid that she was going to lose that balance that she had created for herself through her meditation and her spirituality. And that was her biggest fear. And so she was afraid to fully give herself to him because she was like, I'm going to lose parts of myself if I love you. And it was beautiful because she didn't, of course. Um, you know, he, he ended up being in full um, support of her spirituality and her independence. And so it was a beautiful ending. And it's actually a true story. Um, I don't know if you knew that. But that movie is is amazing and beautiful. If you haven't watched it. I highly recommend you do. I read the book and also watched the movie. Because I'm obsessed. <laughs> it's so good. Alright. So. What is our career advice for Capricorn? Okay, positivity, faith, and optimism. Yes. So you open the doorway to positive experiences and opportunities with your positive expectations and energy. So this is about not letting any negative energy into your space. If you feel rich, you are rich, Capricorn. Don't let anyone tell you that you have to do this to make money. You have to be this. You have to have a degree. You have to blah, 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 blah. That's all it is, is blah, 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 blah. It's just talk. You don't have to do anything to create wealth, but sit there and will it into existence. Seriously, it's the power of your mind and your will. If you believe you are rich, then you are rich, my darlings. Positivity, faith, and optimism. Hold the faith because um, what you believe is what is. For you, especially. I feel like you guys are master manifestors. All right. Donations, tithing, and charitable work. So this says, give joyfully to the organizations and people who spiritually support and inspire you. 
and know that your generosity will be returned to you many fold in miraculous ways. So this is about donating time or energy or literal 3D money to the people that inspire you, to the people that, um, you know, give you um, something to look forward to, you know, to the people that you love. Um, there's two doves there which represent the Holy Spirit. So it's literally being guided by spirit or the Holy Spirit to give an acts of love, you know, not because you feel like you need to, but because you know that the universe returns that type of love times three, times 10, you know, times a million, um, whatever we give out comes back to us in a beautiful um, circle. And I'm learning this actually myself. Um, you know, I, I give time and energy, never, ever expecting, you know, anyone to, um, to give it back. And I'm always so beautifully surprised when, um, you know, I, I'm somehow given a gift of love, um, or a tip or whatever, you know, for, for doing what I love, you know, for this type of work and just for giving my energy, um, and my soul into, um, the messages that I give. So it is, it's a beautiful thing and it's a, it's a beautiful lesson that I'm learning as well. You know, I give because I love to serve and, you know, I, I never expect to give, to get anything back huge in return, but the returns have been massive for me, um, for this work. And, you know, it's not even about the physical 3d, like money, you know, from this, because as of right now, like I don't make a huge amount of money from this, but um, the the energetic return of love that I feel from all of my um, the people that tune in to me it's incredible and it overwhelms me with joy and love all right so let's get the final message for Capricorn the spirit guide that is leading our beautiful Capricorns at this time what is the final message for Capricorn please what is the final message for Capricorn now, if something in this message resonated, please like and subscribe. It's completely free. Um, and if you hit the notification bell, you won't miss any of my videos that I upload. You have to hit the notification bell or else um, YouTube will only tell you about certain videos that I upload. So if you hit the bell, it means you won't miss a video at all. Final message for Capricorn. The lady of the gift. Wow, we have generosity, receiving, and withholding again. It's number 20, so it's a number of balance. All right. And zero points. Wow, this keeps coming up for Capricorn, that zero points. That fresh start. That's like energy of like nothingness in which there's so much potential. P potential, I can't even talk. I'm going so fast. Because the potential that exists when there's nothing there, like you can create so much energy from nothingness, right? Because there's nothing there to begin with. So you just have all this energy to focus and turn nothingness into whatever you want. It's zero point. It's a reset. It's like, wh where are you going to take this energy? The possibilities are endless, right? I love it. So the lady of the gift, she's about learning how to receive. She's about learning how to give. So it's an equal give and take, okay? Okay. So she's going to show you that it's okay in a relationship to have equal give and take. You don't have to worry about anyone taking your independence. You don't have to worry about them giving too much or you giving too much. You're learning the energy of balance in a relationship. And that's so beautiful, Capricorn. I love that for you. Oh, my goodness. Um, some of you might also do some beautiful crystal work. I see her. Um, with the crystals and you might be a crystal healer she also has face surrounding her so you might be working with fairies or you might see phase on a normal basis the energy is gorgeous there's also two candles here so that might be of relevance to you as well all right capricorn i really hope that you enjoyed this reading if it did um comment make a comment below i love to read your guys's comments it literally like makes my soul so full, honestly. 
All right. And if you want to book a reading with me, all of my prices are below in the description box. Um, I did lower my prices because I want, you know, more people to have access to me. Um, not just the elite, so to speak. <laughs> That's stupid. That was a joke. Anyways, um, no offense to anyone. I just think that everyone should have access to healing that need it. So um, that was the main kicker for me for deciding on my prices. Um, yeah, so I guess that's it. That's all I have for you, Capricorn. I love you so much. Bye.